Thanks for joining me again. My name's Ollie, and here's your loaf of daily bread. Today's loaf comes to us once again from the Tao Te Ching, where Lao Tzu says the following. Not knowing is true knowledge. Presuming to know is a disease. First realize that you're sick, then you can move toward health. The master is her own physician. She has healed herself of all knowing. Thus, she is truly whole. As usual, another repetition, another familiar theme. The idea that true knowledge is knowing that we know nothing, or at least knowing that we know very little, or knowing that what we think we know is a best guess, and being open to amending those best guesses as new information and new experiences come to light. But the first step, as Lao Tzu puts it here, is realizing that you're sick, realizing that you don't know. That's the gateway. Once you pass through that gate and you truly and fully acknowledge your ignorance, then you can actually start to learn little things. You notice how Lao Tzu contrasts not knowing and presuming to know. Because oftentimes what we claim to know is actually a presumption or an assumption. Or it's based on an assumption. We all have these sort of underlying beliefs that we don't ever really verbalize or even examine but that affect all of our other beliefs and opinions nonetheless. And digging down and finding those fundamental type beliefs is very important, or at least it was very important for me, and it helped me a lot. It helped me to see that my worldview was based on faulty premises, and it allowed me to slowly start to unravel these things and formulate new ones. But again, all of this was only possible for me because I realized that basically everything I thought I knew was uh, an illusion or a delusion. I don't know what it was, but it was a story that I had come to believe, but that was very, very inaccurate. So not knowing is true knowledge, or at least it's the beginning of true knowledge. Now the master, remember, is just a fictitious character. It's not an actual person that Lao Tzu is talking about. It's a Taoist role model. So whenever they want to describe what a Taoist should be like, they talk about the master, because this is sort of the target that you're aiming at, right? He says, the master is her own physician. So she's realized that she's sick, and she has moved toward health. She doesn't need anyone else's help. She's her own physician. She's healed herself of all knowing. Thus, she is truly whole. So I guess that implies that when we presume to know things, we're actually not whole. We're not fully ourselves, maybe, or maybe we're fractured, we're divided, because some of those beliefs, some of those presumptions may contradict each other, may conflict with one another, and they form a kind of internal tension. I think that one of the best ways to find those underlying assumptions is to watch your reactions to study yourself and to study how you react to different things. And then when you are clear-headed again, because when I say react, I mean, of course, an emotional reaction, you know, when you get angry, when you get depressed, all that kind of stuff. When you feel like yourself again, it really helps to study that reaction in hindsight and to try to figure out what you felt and what you thought at the time, because that will lead you to those underlying assumptions. Or at least it may, I don't know. It helped me find them and maybe it'll help you. If you even want that kind of help. Maybe you don't need help. Maybe you're just crushing it, in which case, crush it. In which case, this whole video can be condensed to me saying, keep crushing it and live well.